interested in adopting, um, there's an application process, there's meeting the animal, there's meeting all the family members, and then the actual adoption. For the $100 adoption fee, what you get is all the animals are spayed and neutered, age-appropriate vaccinations, microchip, um, testing if they're young, they've been wormed. All of their immediate veterinary needs have been taken care of. We are a division of the Palo Alto Police Department. So not only do we have this animal shelter and we do the lost and found and the adoptions in our little pet store, but we also do animal control. And we do animal control for the cities of Palo Alto, Mountain View, Los Altos, and Los Altos Hills. So it's, it's a small shelter, but we fill all the rules of a, of a bigger shelter from investigations of cruelty to uh, injured animals that have to be rescued to even hoarding cases. And given day, several hours of interaction if they want it. Some of them, it's really up to the animals. I mean, with the dogs, it's certainly, a, it's a walk and a play time and kind of some social time, maybe grooming. Uh, with the kitties, it's a matter of what they want. I mean, when, when we have our wonderful volunteers who come in here, they will sit and they will let the animals determine, do they want time? Some of them want lap time. Some of them want to be brushed. Some of them want to be played with, so we have, you know, toys for them. Some of them just want to take a nap. And, you know, we don't force play on them if they just want to, like the ones in the cat tree, you know, they'll just get up here and they'll just take a snooze. So it's really up to the, what the animal wants. I mean, we're here for them. During the summer months, shelters are inundated with kittens. I mean, spaying, spaying and neutering is still, a big necessity because we have so many kittens that are entering the shelters throughout our country. During this time, there's, with the economy taking the downward slide that it has, it is not unusual for us to have animals here. We just had one surrendered yesterday. They'd lost their home. And that is, as sad as it is that they have to take a family member and find a place for it, Thank goodness that places like this exist. We have the luxury of having room and we are able to keep animals that keep stable. And by stable, I mean mentally and physically healthy. Animals that accept this life. This is not home and we know it. But for some of them, it's enough that they're happy. You know, and we can tell they're happy. They're eating, they're not exhibiting, uh, they don't get sick and so they're mentally healthy. For those, we will try to keep them as long as it takes. We have had cats in here for almost a year trying to find a home. That's, and we're so, we hate that. No cat belongs in a cage for a year. That's how we feel. My name is Scott DeLuke and I'm our Senior Vice President Community Relations for the Peninsula Humane Society. And I oversee a lot of the areas of our shelter that touch the public. So the main areas are our adoption program, um, our education program, our media, public relations, all of our animal, animal rescue, um, humane investigations, and our volunteer program, uh, and our animal behavior program. Our, our Humane Society has been located here at Coyote Point in San Mateo for just under 60 years, and we're probably best known for providing a safe home for all of our area's stray and unwanted animals, but we have other programs too that touch the public. So I mentioned the, you know, the education programs are out educating kids in classrooms. We have a number of behavior programs, uh, obedience classes held almost every night here inside the shelter. We handle all of our area's sick, injured, and orphaned wild animals. Um, you know, adoptions every single day, again, that's how we're best known, but we do a lot of other things too. Um, so we, we like to say we're much more than an animal shelter, we're a true humane society. The amount of time each animal has outside of their, their cage or their run really depends on um, how much they need. It depends on how many volunteers we have available. Um, it depends on their health. Um, and it depends on how many animals are at the shelter. Right now we have close to 950 total animals in the shelter. This is our high time. So we really need more and more volunteers to come and spend time with the animals. We always need, we have close to 1,400 volunteers, but that's a little misleading because at any given time we'll have a dozen or so who are actually spending time with the shelter.
We've been advocating for spaying and neutering here for decades. And again, I mean, the numbers don't, don't lie. They, they help us tell our story. Um, taking in 45,000 unwanted dogs and cats in one year was just, I mean, I can't even imagine what it was like for the staff who worked here 30 years ago. It just must have been overwhelming because so many healthy animals were getting euthanized. These last few years, we've taken in about 10,000 dogs and cats. The best place to find out everything about what the Peninsula Humane Society does is really our website. We have lots of visitors every day. Most people go to the website to check out the animals, but we have a lot more information there. We have information about how to donate, how to adopt, how to volunteer, um, our outreach programs. We have uh, video clips of some of the animals in action. So you're not just looking at a little photo, of a dog or cat available for adoption, you actually see them outside their kennel interacting with a volunteer, and that's www.phs-spca.org. And the PHS stands for Peninsula Humane Society, and the SPCA is Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals.